Netflix has replaced the video rental store as a pet cemetery for box office flops. With the recent success of Underwater, Stillwater, and Cold Pursuit, the streamer has become a safe haven for forgotten films that underperformed, underwhelmed, and underdelivered at the box office. And this trend doesn't only apply to movies with water-based titles. Take The Postcard Killings, for example, a crime movie starring Jeffrey Dean Morgan and Famke Jensen that made a miserable $180,000 at the box office and is now in Netflix's top 10 for the U.S. The Postcard Killing story is based on a 2010 novel by James Patterson and Liz Markland, which sits at a 25% critic score over at Rotten Tomatoes. But despite such low scores, the familiar stars have likely helped The Postcard Killings boost its way onto Netflix's top 10. Morgan is anticipated to return to television with The Walking Dead, Dead City Season 2, while Jansen is set to star in the sci-fi horror film The Experiment. But could this newfound success lead to the Postcard Killers 2? It's hard to say if Netflix's top 10 rankings factor in real-world decision-making, where it costs millions of dollars and often years to develop, shoot, and deliver a film. However, the film's ending does leave an opening for a follow-up. While the ending of the film resolves the main storyline, which we won't spoil for you here, it does tee up a possible sequel down the road. In part, this is thanks to the changes made to the original source material, whose missing elements could be put back in a continuation of the story. So far, we haven't seen any kind of cinematic resurrection of the kind that was so prevalent in the late 80s and early 90s during the heyday of the video rental industry, where films that flopped out the box office made bank on tape got sequels, albeit low-budget straight-to-video sequels, but sequels nonetheless. But the videotape and on-demand era of the late 1900s doesn't have the same reach that streaming does. Then again, it didn't have the same level of competition, so it's really hard to say.